hello everyone i hope you are doing great and you have already set up your system as we discussed in our episode 0 system setup this is we are continuing the same setup only but this time we are trying to set up our eclipse ide which will be connected to our uh, uh, sap system so for that you need to go to tools.hana.ondemand.com and once you click here so tools.hana.ondemand.com i will be most probably using the latest one so you click here basically let me increase the font size so that it is visible for you right maybe bit more now it is much more better so i'll go to tools.hana.ondemand.com latest and uh, latest eclipse version okay so we'll go here and i will choose okay enterprise java developer let's go with this mine is a windows in case you have a different platform you can choose accordingly right so this thing will now all downloads are this 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 and we say download right so if you are if you feel like contributing to the community you can do that so let this thing gets downloaded and then we start again okay so the zip file is downloaded so all i need to go is uh, go inside this and i will basically extract everything and uh, let this thing gets extracted wow let it take some time once it is done then maybe we can proceed to the next step so finally it is done and all i need to do is now go inside and click on this item right so let this eclipse load and uh, meanwhile i'll go back and i'll copy this link i'll tell you why because uh, our eclipse as of now so okay this is a default and do not ask again so as of now all we have done is we have just installed the eclipse id we have not installed the abap development tools which we need for example if you see here there are abap there are tools bw also there are tool for cloud also for cloud integration hana ui5 and all right so we will do that now so how do we do that so let me maximize it and welcome it is okay so i need to go to help and we'll say install new software okay and the site is which i have copied there i need to paste it here and then i let's name it as sap uh development tools you can provide whatever names you want it is just stored locally so now it will go to the do this site which we have and it will let us know what all different development tools we can install so you see we can install a bab development tools which has uh you know tools for cds and everything right and then you have cloud business application tools also hana i am by default choosing all you can customize it as per your wish and then i say next so it will do some calculation how much space i have and uh, how much it will consume then you will kind of uh, do an agree that you agree to the terms and conditions so typical software installation which we have normally so that cycle will run so let it let it calculate stuff and we will see how it works okay so we have we see this is what this is going to installed i am okay i say next and i say boss i accept all so for all everything i accept and then i say finish right and if you it is it has gone down there and uh, okay let me close this and now if you click here right you can see also what is the process progress like 
what it is doing and all it will take some time meanwhile let's just wait and watch let it install all the softwares so what i was thinking was maybe once it is done now we will quickly connect this thing to our system i'll show you how it is done and then in the end maybe quickly create one cds a very simple one so that at least we are able to see that we are able to create the cds views also right now i think slowly once we start our this web series next one we will be in a kind of understanding or we'll try to get more comfortable with eclipse like what are perspectives how do you work here what lies where the more we work here the more we'll explore so that is the idea so intention is that everyone shall have it configured before our course starts course web series community series whatever it's all for the sap community and by the sap community let it install so once it is installed let ask you to basically kind of uh, restart your eclipse and you say restart now and in case you get any pop up for installing some certificate you say install anyway so let it run and meanwhile in the back end you can see our instance i have moved it to suspended state so that it doesn't uh, use money or consume our google trial not google cloud credits because mine is a productive one but i hope for every one of you have not used those 300 dollars and you'll be able to utilize it to run it for the whole year so now you won't need any a bap system or a fury system at least you can do your learning and everything so let it start okay once you start so now you see things are bit familiar so you see about development accessibility cds and there is a lot of tons of help right so you can open that help also and it can you know you can read about everything to anything right so it's typically how we have our uh, help in our in our uh, what do we call in our you know on on premise systems so i'll close this and i'll say go to windows perspective i'll open a perspective i'll choose other and i'm more more like to have an abap development project abap perspective perspective is like set of different views which you you know related one for a particular thing for example if you are doing some java development so you will need so and so view so it will combine them into perspective similarly for abap this is a by default perspective for example you can create a project here your code will be opened here any problems transport and all is here feature explorer is here right well we'll 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 go into it um, maybe once our series start so i think now our eclipse has all the tools everything is there what is left is to start our system so what i will do is this is in suspended state i'll click on activate and it will take some time we'll 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 wait and let it get activated so i say suspend after one hour because i'm not going to use it for much and uh, it will save time and money and resources right so i say okay so let it let it get activated we'll wait it takes around something like 10 minutes to start again the initial setup takes 30 minutes but from suspend to activate it takes around 10 minutes so we'll just wait and uh, let it get activated So now our system is active you can see and all i need to do is click on connect and uh, um, client is this right 0001 and system id is this instance is 0 and i need to click on this so now maybe let's try to create a system here also so what you need to do is you need to go to whatever is downloaded you go to show in folder open with code and you will find the ip which is this we have to do the replication server so if i go here and check here my ip is the same 
and then 0 0 and then NLP so 0 oh, let me log out this one so now we have 0 0 NLP okay and then all I need to do is just click here and I say developer password is super secret and I am able to log in right how do I connect now Eclipse to this so all you need to do is you can connect to a ABAP cloud also so we'll talk about that restful ABAP programming model wrap whatever there are too many things to learn we will have uh, some series starting on that sometimes or no when but yes it is in pipeline so we click on this create an ABAP project we just and I choose NPL NPL is NLP actually and I say next and then client is 001 user is developer password is very super secret and then I say next and uh, let it connect I've and let the, whatever the project you want to name it you name it and you say finish okay so we have got our uh, uh, it is connecting okay so we have got our NLP projects also there now in case we need to do any development how do we do it so for the for example I'm trying to create a small CDS for you guys so or not let's let's just create a simple uh, package let's see if does it allow us a package so we say jet CDS demo CDS sub -up right and then I say finish and uh, hopefully it will ask me for some now it has automatically opened those uh, what do we call the our GUI here let me close this and maybe make it a bit bigger yes so you need to provide this detail in your HANA version you you will you will you can directly create it inside our uh, Eclipse okay so you say CDS about package the typical description you see and then I say okay it will ask for a transport request you can create one so you say create request dummy and then you say okay and our package is created right and then you can close this and if I I do not have any favorite package I can go here and I can add let's let it search chat CDS above which we have created and I click here it is now added right and uh, now let's say you want to create a CDS view so you need to choose a BAP other objects and uh, you have core data services and data definition I say JIT test I'm just doing it you know to see that it works right and then you choose this dummy transport for now and I choose a simple this template uh, and we are in so we can define the view name as uh, jet uh, test view right and data source maybe USR 02 table is our famous and then I'm saying select everything which is too much so maybe let's just select this much not everything all right and then I press save and I activate so it is activating you can see here in the corner now you my spine my behind my picture <laughs> so I'm just trying to show you that okay with this system we are able to create a CDS view okay and uh, it is still reading and it is 
activate it and if I just uh, uh, right click and uh, I say open with data preview then hopefully you will see the different username for example for us it is T dictionary and SAP star we were using to log into the golden client developer is the one and that's it so I think now you can see the power that we are able to have our own system and we are able to run it also so I'll just disconnect it now and I will shut it down right why because I don't want to incur extra cost right so don't forget to suspend it and a suspended one only in it it consumes fourteen dollar fourteen forty dollar per month you have three hundred dollars and if it is active it consumes 0.69 dollars right okay so now you can see the server is also not available which is very good so now this thing will get shut down our library also will our virtual machines will also get shut down so now we are able to have our own ABAP system where we can uh, run the CDS, we can run uh, different Fury application, sky is the limit now, right? And I would request everyone to make sure you follow each and every point and get it done and make sure you suspend it in case you are not using it. And in case you have any doubts, query, join our Discord server, shoot your doubts there. Thank you. Thanks so much and stay safe get ready for our web series for in month which is starting in month of august thank you